What's up my friends and welcome, I'm Daily Fix and we are continuing with the Tree of Life, the Army Ant Collective and I'm actually showing you this, the opinion of the entire galaxy. Right now, one setting is just preventing us from making allies inside of the entire galaxy. These guys are just friendly because we've been sucking up to them for such a long time. So, the biggest problem that I can see, can, can you just hover over it to see, is genocidal. Genocidal is, is going to be the problem. Really, that is going to be the problem. We need to address this in two policies and it is a lot to do with what I do with other species. So the purging is not what I want. Uh, displacement, maybe that is what we should do. But until we hit the year 20, we cannot do this. Maybe we could go into slavery or something, I'm not sure. But we'll have to wait until this is done. I'm actually considering making them just slaves. See what will happen. Maybe this will neglect all of this processing stuff. What will happen right now? So right now the livestock. Will the galaxy still hate me? Let's see. If I unpause, what will happen in next month? Why I'm pressing F? I do not know. So maybe this will um, make them think better of us. Maybe not. But it is something that we will have to decide or actually find out for ourselves. Also, yes, the battleships. We're changing the fleets. We are changing the fleets. We'll have interceptors, we'll have the destroyers, we'll be calling um, anti mi uh, Let's just call them prickets. Prickets. There we go. Let's save those. And let's get these out of here and delete them. We'll just have to change them in the fleets because I already changed those. A war breaks out. Um, there we go. Let's pause it for a second. Genocidal is still a big issue. Did I, did I shot myself in the foot? Look at this, genocidal, 400. So maybe not the best of ideas for us? Oh boy. So a lot of these are now upgrading. This is one needs one more battleship because I'm actually going to bring them down to 10. This is what I came up with. And we're going to be actually using the Spricket class. So we got the anti-missile prickets. And we got the ships that will go in close and hopefully stop those fleets from getting too close to ours. Because it has been a problem. It has been a massive, massive problem. And we need to stop those. Uh, we're bringing cruisers back because eventually we'll change the battleships into, well, hopefully... Something with missiles, but we'll have to work against them. So right now, what we need to look into is how to get rid of all of these issues. Okay, let's go back to regular view. We still have these armies to deal with, even though... Yeah, you need to get the hell out of there. Let's go here, move down there. Let's not get into that position. Um, the... This change, positive relationship. I'm not sure if they would approve of slavery, actually. I'm not too sure about it. But then again, eventually we'll reach a point where we can actually do the, um, the food thing again. But right now, I don't need war with the entire galaxy. Because, well, you know that won't end. That won't end well. Colonizing this world will solve a lot of issues for us. Because we can actually get a lot more research going out and that is of course something that we like so 13 battleships let us transfer ships cannot merge when upgrading okay so we'll do that and also let us not press this button yet 
What are we making? So, it's basically upgrades. Well, they just have to do for now. Uh, we will start hitting this button because we'll now start building um, corvettes, battleship. So actually corvettes, destroyers and some cruisers back. And uh, what we'll do is we'll split or transfer the ships towards this other fleet. Like this one because we can actually use a few of them. Okay, so he's back. And I do want to merge him with the other one. Even though we can upgrade him again, but we're not going to. Elgate Insight, plus one. Battleship, building speed, and cost. That is quite nice. Ooh, this is so... Kinetic batteries. It is absolutely... If we can get rid of the shield, the crafts can get rid of the armor. What we just need is weapons to deal with the hull. This might change again the entire fleet. So with that one done, let's transfer one, two and three ships. And we'll merge these two together already. And we'll wait here for a tiny bit longer until these are all done. Cannot reinforce the fleet. We will because we'll have to just buy more alloys. And I'm actually quite surprised to see they are... Oh, there you go. There you go. So I was actually surprised that they were not going to retake everything they lost. Uh, we're still waiting for year 2020. If these guys would be so kind to stop upgrading, that would be great. Okay, let's do that. And... You know, we could upgrade you one more time. Same goes for you. We are without leaders. Oh, wow. Leader experience gain. That, that's bad. Can we get another Jester? Yes, Jester is great. I like Jesters. Can we get another one? No, just some uh, firing rate. So, let's get rid of the, uh, the good old Jester here. Which has served its purpose. And they are starting to move. So look at that, 40k. 40k. Ay, 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 ay. So the generator, well, where are you? Where is my research relic world? Let's get rid of this to get more research. We shall take a spawning pool right now. And we'll just build a few districts what is your problem yeah definitely the massive lack of amenities and it's probably because of the lack of the tree of life saplings big mistake on, on my behalf big mistake again i make so many of them let's see if it actually changes anything we'll have to wait probably until the next tick well, no, we also lack this, and we'll get a hive warrant in there as well, just to fix that. Are you going in? Every now and then, also, are we um, taking a sip of my drink here? Uh, because I've been streaming for quite a long time already, and yes, that doesn't do wonders to the voice, I can promise you that. What are we making? So we're making cruisers and corvettes. Then upgrading all of those ships again. It's it's a race. It is a race. If we can get up to strength. Uh, hopefully we can. But if we can't then that's, that's just the gist of it. It's okay. Uh, we can sell those. Buy more of those. Upgrade this fleet first. And we'll go with... Research alternatives. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're throwing everything they have at us. It's quite unfortunately. Let's take a look here. The default right are... Livestock. Increase food supply. Produce minerals. Oh. Now that is interesting. 
Can we improve their way of life? Well, it's fine. Hmm. Um. No, I don't want to change that. Defense in depth. Maybe go for combat distance chance. Yes, hit and run. Hit and run would be quite nice for you for us right now. Um, enlightenment. Well, that doesn't help us. Uh, we're going with. Wow, lead a lifespan plus 10. The natural selection, that's quite nice. First contact, peaceful. Open border status, food policies are in for speed and balanced. We could change this. Since we are making a buttload. Let's change that, let's see. So we're on 175. Everything will drop down by 20 by the next tick. And we're now at 201. I kind of am okay with that. So this one is getting upgraded. Uh, let's keep reinforcing this fleet. Hopefully it will be ready. And we'll see. We'll see if my gamble is, uh, is paying off. I do hope so. Would be kind of bad if it doesn't. Would me yeah, well, I would look like a fool. Again. Again, yes, I know. So the battleships are way too high on this fleet. 130, 130, that's how I would like it. Once again, this fleet first, then all of the others. Hmm. Maybe we should get towards like Titans and stuff. That would be fun. Now, let's see. Who are you also at war with? Only me. And you're not really being that aggressive. I could saddle the status quo and leave you quite defenseless. How is this going? Okay, so the Seed of Life Zeppelin actually did not help a thing. Population growth speed plus 25? Okay. Interesting. Why? Research agreements are broken. Let's get the spawn pool up and running. Science ship is waiting our command over here in this sector. And all of the corvettes are almost done. So what we're basically lacking now is just a bunch of destroyers. And I'm thinking like 32 should be... Well, we're now probably 30. So, two fleets of 30 is still quite nice, though. So, we'll aim for that. We'll take our time. Because there is no need to rush. At all. No need to rush. Don't rush. Just relax. And... Yeah, they're just slowly starting to gain everything. It's fine. There's not that many things that interest us. In here. Let's see, we can do three more ships. Are you full? No, you're not. I also don't want to sell these items anymore. Because I would like to boost my fleet, if possible, when the time comes with our edicts. Like volatile uh, munition and stuff like that. That would actually make a big difference. Are there other ways for us to get more alloys? Yeah, there are other ways. Unfortunately, not available for us right now. So, we'll just have to hold on. I don't care about that. Just take that back. Let's buy 250 of that. Can we... Yeah, that's at full strength. How much would it be?
Oh yeah, they're, they're starting their advance right now. Negative 8 on the status quo. Well, if things go sour, we might have to take it. We might have to go and take that status quo. Fix all of our fleets. The Senate is in session. The minor administrative sanctions. I'm not too sure about this. Grants the counter-attack causes belly on the empire that does not have collected community. Diplomatic wave from fleet power. So fleet power is getting more and more important. So supporting this would not be such a bad idea. Since we will have a massive, massive fleet. Let's keep all of that going. We would like to donate. Yes. Definitely. One fleet over there. One fleet in there. Let's hold off. Okay, what's going on on Agri Prime? So... Main issue, enmities. Uh, is there a way for us to do anything about it? Not right now. So we'll just have to hold fast and hopefully it won't rebel. And if it does, it does. It is actually okay. Eventually they will split up and we will go on the offensive. Once these guys split up, we have to go. For now, we'll just have to make sure that we upgrade. Oh boy, upgrade so badly. Four more battleships are going to be done. What's up with you? Why, why, why is this? Go there. Twenty-eight k. So not the biggest fleet is in there. Should we send them? Should we send our fleet forward? This one's done. Thirty-one k. Yeah, I think it is time. There we go. Let's go. Let's go send them in. Hopefully we can engage a fleet. So let's see. The Senate floors. Yeah, there's a lot of them against it. Oh yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Thank you. So 26,000. I'm kind of hoping that we get there before they take the station, but we know that's probably not going to happen. A lot of Corvettes, 55 of them. Uh, we got the Kinetic Battery, uh, the Ripper Cannons, also very nice. Or shall we just go for the flat out bonus? Like, let's go with the Corvettes first, it's 5 months. Can we take this? Because it will actually cost us a great deal. Hopefully the fight will now go more in my favor. Without losing too much. Uh, but we're now going to be finding that out. So one fleet is engaging. The other one is actually backing it up over there. It jumped out. But at what price? At what price did we just... Um, jump out because even though now they are still hurt quite a bit hmm. i don't think the carrier destroyers are the best of ideas and perhaps we should go for battleships that are more of the backline with the kinetic it's a lot of shield damage and we'll put this one on artillery. And we'll change this one to our till. Yeah, I really need this, sorry. <laughs> artillery. There you go. I probably still messed up though. So we'll flip everyone to artillery. And range is very, very high. 
and I think that probably would be a good decision to upgrade this fleet and getting them into artillery. So you, artillery class, and you, also artillery class. Uh, but we don't have to do that right now. We can do that later. Once we start taking on these ships again. We can do the status quo if we were to desire. But right now, I do not really desire that. We'll keep increasing the fleets. And I think that it is best if we make sure we heal. And keep reinforcing and then we'll upgrade. But first things first. First, we need to make sure we are healing. And we're going in. Technology That's what we need to do. Concealed. New technology, Corvette Hall Point plus a hundred. Artillery. Oh, flag artillery. Really nice. We can go for the Corvette Hall Points. And another increase. And this is just the upgrade building for the alloy foundries. And we've not really been looking into those. This still is very nice. But the enemy is almost not using missiles. And that's a thing. That is a thing. So right now we'll go for the additional hold points. So we did have a, another skirmish. And hopefully this will be a better call for us. They're now equivalent again. Which is good. Once we healed up. And we have both fleets back. We should be in a position to wipe the floor with them. And that's what I'm counting for. As for now, my friends, welcome. Uh, actually, what? Welcome. <laughs> wow, yeah, it's, it's half past 2 a.m. in the morning. So I'm sorry for that. As for now, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Have a good one. Bye-bye.